Did you see scary headlines like this? So here's what actually happened at Palisades without the scary music. According to a Nuclear Regulatory Commission report, a contractor was working inside the plant and slipped into a pool of water located above the reactor. This is an area workers access during maintenance, and it's why they're required to wear safety gear, including life vests. He was pulled out right away, checked by radiation protection staff, and decontaminated as a precaution. And later, testing showed some contamination in his hair, but it was below regulatory limits. He had 300 counts per minute detected in his hair, which is way less than a single piece of vintage fiesta wear. He also had minor injuries from the fall, got medical attention, and is back at work. That's it. No reactor damage, no release, no public risk. What gets lost in the headlines is that these pools are designed to provide crucial cooling and radiation shielding, not amplify it. Falling into one isn't good, but it's also not a nuclear disaster. Just a workplace accident turned into fear-mongering. Scary headline, boring reality, that's nuclear most of the time. The scariest part of the story isn't what happened, it's how it was framed.